Are we? Okay, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Uh, today, we're changing it up a bit. As you can see, I'm here in my studio, and uh, we're doing helpful tips with Lil Lum today. So I'm going to have uh, some tips and tricks and some ideas and thoughts and challenges for you on how to uh, manage your artistic process in this uh, season of separation. So I uh, hope you're uh, going to enjoy today's episode, um, and I hope that you'll be inspired to try some things as well. Is anybody with us? Yes, yeah. we have Helena, yeah, Helena. Kyle, Ooh. Hannah, Anna, oh. and Hallie. Oh my gosh, so, so five good. wonderful people. So good. Although Thanks. one of them left. Oh, bye. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, well, I got my Crocs on. It's uh, 70 plus degrees, and I'm I'm feeling a little... Uh, it's warm in the house, let's just put it that way. I'm trying to keep things cool. Um, I'm going to take you around the studio here to show you the space that I work in. you got to forgive me, because it's absolutely a mess in here. But um, somehow I'm working through it. All right, let's, uh, let's start. This is... Here's the, the giant table. Here at the table is where I like to do a lot of the, um, the making and the working and the desking and the, and the drawing. And this is where I do the, um, all the twitchies, the twitchy streams right here. Okay. You can see I've got some, um, these are my, uh, little, uh, Star Wars droids. Okay. My little BB-8 and, uh, and my R2-D2. They keep me company. Occasionally they'll just talk to each other. They're little, they're little robots. They live around places. Um, I have a, uh, I have a terrarium full of moss because that makes me happy. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't know why, but I like moss. And so that lives in here too. Um, Kyle's wondering if there's a Lego Porsche on the back shelf. Uh, yeah, that's a Porsche 911. Um, and it is a Lego. I'm a big Lego fan. I've been collecting Legos. As we can tell. For a long time. Look at, look at this Voltron. Look at this Voltron right here. This, you said Hannah's here, right? Yes. Hannah Young, this this is for you right here, the Lego Voltron. And then this is the um, the ship from the Lego movie. The what's it called? The Sea Cow. As uh, the Sea Cow. I think so. There's a cow right there. There's so. a cow. So. You've got a hotel in the back. I got a little hotel. I love toys. I buy. I had children, so I could buy toys and steal them from them. And, Things. The future. For future. Yeah, because they're not going to want them when they leave. So that's going to be great. So I love Legos um, and uh, I make art. So there's always a lot of like the most recent projects that are floating around. Here's some stuff I did on the drawing table. This is the drawing table, by the way, which is uh, helpful to have an angle to draw on. So when you're looking at things, you're drawing uh, kind of straight on as opposed to being flat and elongated. I uh, got the Furby shelf going on here. Everybody but Christina's here because Christina's over there in the dark corner where... Uh, she belongs. She belongs. <laughs> okay. And then um, because art mannequins are useless, I use them as decorative objects. Look, at, there's a man in my backyard. They're doing our lawn. Is Wait, oh. is that legal if I show them? Yeah. That's probably illegal <laughs> now that I'm thinking about Maybe it. Not. So, oh, look, at, this is... Um, this is really cool. I don't know if I've shown you guys this before. But... Bennett the Goulias is wondering how you're doing today, by the way. I'm doing good, Bennett. How are you doing? This is my heart made of ceramics. Um, I wish Mrs. Perry was here to see it. And it's full of harmonicas. Because where else would you put your harmonicas? So except in that. a heart. <laughs> except in your, your ceramic heart. Um, it's, not, it, uh, it's not glazed. I actually painted it with... Um, acrylic paints. I made this in college. It's one of my prized possessions. Hannah says, Voltron! Voltron! And Kyle says, ooh, that was the one from the Lego Ideas, like the fan-made one. The Voltron? That or is correct. Yeah. That is, yes, absolutely. Those are some of my... You also saw the ship in a bottle. That's yes. a Lego Ideas set. That's and cool the one. micro um, Minecraft. Any Minecraft fans out there? Oh, there is a micro Minecraft. Micro right. Minecraft. Okay. And also, up higher is the um, 25th anniversary edition of uh, the Voltron lines. And then to the right, Mr. Beerit got me into miniatures. And so I got a bunch of miniatures there. 
So why do I have all these things? Because they inspire me and keep me um, excited about making art, keep the uh, batteries charged up. There was a call that came in, and we were like, decline that. Decline it. Arm care, armchair general is here. Helena says, rip Christina. Um, Bennett say, says, I think I need to get myself a Furby table. Mm -hmm. Helena says, is your literal heart filled with harmonicas too? Yes, if you listen to it, there's a lot of... <laughs> Did you hear that? Bennett says, I'm doing great today. I actually woke up at a decent time today. Ha ha. Um, miniature painting stuff up here, accessible, and Anton's bait shop, also Lego ideas. And then some of my favorite books, uh, Madeline Langle, Walking on Water, um, also, um, oh, look at this. Who, do you guys know who did this book? You might know this person. Oh, <gasps> shout out to Dominguez, Mr. D. Uh, also, Art and Fear, if you guys need a book to read... Um, this is great. Also, The War of Art. Read that. Um, and then, who else I do? Oh, I have some of my, um, uh, my Masterpiece, uh, devotionals for Shout Masterpiece out. Ministries. And then family, right? Obviously, you gotta have a family in the photos back here. Um, and then this is my d and I've probably showed you guys this. This is my D&D &D character, Thornton. And uh, I 3D printed this on that 3D printer right there. Hannah says, Masterpiece Crew! Yeah, yeah! Um, this is my giant easel that I paint giant things on. I haven't painted a giant thing in a while. I used to like to paint really big, and now... Can you wear that for the rest of the video? Oh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> this is for Kate and Kyle. Luke. And Luke. Uh, Kyle's good. the only one here right now. So I wear this when I do like uh, fantastic drawings because it gets me hyped and, and amped up and ready. Okay. Kyle Holwarda has a really cool one that we looked at in our Google Meet Q&A the other, or last week, two weeks ago. Okay, so that's the studio. Oh, here's some, um, do you guys see the stained glass? This was a collaboration I did with my mom. Uh, when Aww. I, right when I was um, in high school I think if I remember my life I don't remember anything very well like yesterday I don't know what happened but so um, we took stained glass art making classes together and then I went off to college and I participated in this art show did you see this one it's a, it's yeah, a that's, hummingbird yep, it's a hummingbird so I did this art show with some of the faculty um, and it was called this I know and we made these as part of a, a station, like kind of like Stations of the Cross. It was really cool. Uh, this one was about joy, right? And true joy, friends, joy in the midst of suffering even, okay? Don't forget that. All right, um, so that's the studio. That is the studio. Yep. It is an inspiring place to make art. And um, let's, have you, let's have you come around this way. Join me. I wanted to show you a couple of things I have on the desktop. I got some sticks. I've got, um, this is Nescafe, instant coffee. This is Kool-Aid. This is tea. What flavor? Plain. Tea flavored. Tea. Okay. Um, I've got, uh, do you have anything like this laying around? Do you have any exacto Sharp blades? Objects. Okay, and do you have any scissors? I, I mean, I hope so. Right here I have, um, this is hair from my dog's tail. We'll have to show them the haircut <laughs> job you gave. <laughs> I literally went, I took, she's got a long fluffy tail and I just went, boop, snip. And now she looks like a doofus. <laughs> but, I mean, nobody comes to see her but us, so. Um, and then I've got some, like, uh, wood shavings, Okay. And some grass. And you're wondering, well, what? So what? Well, I wanted to talk to you about some, like, DIY art um, supplies and materials today. And just like my cooking. Kyle wants you to mix them all and drink them. <laughs> all of this would be edible. There's, there's probably no question that's happening. So I got myself some water, like, not boiling, but hot. And uh, we're going to pour some into each so we can see 
if these might be adequate for painting with. Okay. My gosh, Mia Cox is here. Hey, Mia. All right, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm just going to do a little bit at a time here because I really need this to be saturated and um, powerful. That That's a strong cup of coffee right there. All right, we're going to get a carfe, a little bit in the um, uh, the Kool-Aid. Did I say it was Kool-Aid or did I say it was Jell-O? You said it was Kool-Aid. Okay, it's Kool-Aid. It's Kool-Aid, not Jell-O. But you could do Jell-O too. It smells like Jell-O. Yeah. If you could smell this, this is like candy. Also, here's what I was thinking. If you had... Um, like um, a ring pop or like some kind of like blue raspberry candy. Just suck on that, spit it right out, and you've got paint, okay? Do not do that. No, please. Please try it. Here's what I, here's what I want to know, friends. I want to know if this is going to work. Because if I'm being totally honest, um, I mean, I would... Uh, the only thing I've actually painted with is coffee, okay? And never instant coffee. And I've only painted... I actually painted some of my miniature models with coffee. I've never painted a painting with coffee. But coffee, I know. How does one do that? I use it to make it look, uh, make things look dirty. Dirty. So, um. With dirt? Yeah. <laughs> well, you could use dirt too. I was thinking about that, but then it would have been too far. Hallie would have laughed at me and she would have never come again. Here's what I'm trying to say, friends. Bennett desperate says times call for desperate nutritious. measures. This would be nutritious. It would be, and it is. And when we're done, we can drink it. As long as... I wouldn't drink it after I put my dog's tail brush in it. <laughs> but um, I might try a sip before. Okay? <laughs> we'll see. Just dip your All finger right. in so there. So are you, is everybody with me so far? Are we... The chat is pretty dead, I'm not going to lie. Man, guys, I'm, I'm not here just to talk to myself. I really... I'm here, I'm here to talk to you. So here's what I'm thinking. How much of this is just insane and how much of this would you actually try if i'm being honest i you know it's not like i would do this i've probably painted with tea or coffee before never with kool-aid but i've never been in a, in a situation where i haven't had supplies or color paints or whatever to use kool-aid obviously easy to get a hold of dirt cheap and comes in a variety of colors okay um if you had three colors plus brown and kind of sepia like you can do anything. You can literally accomplish anything. Um, do I even have a brush here? Well, no, I don't have a brush. Do I have something to stir? Yeah, yeah, I got sticks everywhere. Okay, good. So let's just get this mixed up. You might be thinking, this is ridiculous, but it's not, it's not as ridiculous as you think. And in fact, I feel like if we were, um, if this were college, yeah, any of you going to art school, if this were college, the your first semester professor is going to say something like, hey, today we're going to be mark making with sticks and coffee and mud. And then and then at that point, you'd be like, oh, you're a genius. But now, because it's Lolum, you're like, Lolum, you you're don't know what you're talking about. You're stupid. But uh, no, this is it. We can do this. All right, so literally, I've got a pretty thick mix. All right, two questions from yep. Pymeal. Yep. Yep. She's asking, one, how are you doing? So. I'm good. I'm very good. Thank you. And I was then, up late last night, though. It was like She came up with what I think is a pretty good um, suggestion. Good. She said, can you make a painting Easter egg video? Yes. Okay. Noted. Noted. Painting Easter egg video. Uh, is, it, is it? Is that appropriate on Friday? Good Friday? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think by Friday I will do that. Easter eggs. Love it. Good um, idea. Kyle wants to know if you've seen Luke's Hobbit painting with a stick in dirt. The bag uh, end. Yes. Yes, I have seen that. Okay, so point, case in point, as they say, the artist extraordinaire himself, Luke Holwerda, has created a painting with, with dirt or with coffee? With dirt and a stick. Dirt and a stick, yep. And uh, I'll post that as a follow-up. Send that to me. Okay, I'll post it as a follow-up. So here's Send what I, it, Kyle. Here's what I got. I, I literally have uh, coffee, really thick instant coffee on a stick, and I don't I you have to figure out what's this what's this gonna do, okay? Look at that. Look at I got little fine lines. Part of it is obviously uh, I haven't done anything to this stick, and so I don't know exactly how it's gonna 
uh, work until I start using it and experiment. But I could cut it into different shapes. I could sharpen it, okay, to create a fine line. Uh, but that, from a pigment, pigment perspective, that's pretty good. And I can actually get some... I can get some fine line for sure. That'd be some cool. I would do this, okay? Let's just say I would I would do this. Little lum. Little lum. Little lum approved. So far so good. All right. So that's that's the coffee. Um let's see what we can come up with. And I feel like with this uh whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So with this Kool-Aid that's uh, the dog. She's angry. She, she's mad because I stole her tail. <laughs> so, okay. Let's just see what happens when I put it on. Okay. Not bad. Red. Most pigments that are red anyway are a little bit light. But, I, yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm totally happy with this. Uh, again, I'm just using a stick that I haven't done anything to, and I could always um, change it. So, for example, this is... I was chopping wood like a lumberjack the other day. And I could take this, dip it in, and not it's not that it's a brush, but look at look at the way that I can get different kind of lines with that. Okay. I could I could create a composition. Let's see how that's gonna mix in. I actually like what's happening right now. Okay. So that, I think, is effective. The Kool-Aid makes me happy. The tea, um, I'm a little nervous because it's steeping. Still very steepy. Steepy. Um, it doesn't seem like it's going to be dark. And also, it feels like something that I'd want to use something more like a brush in. Very light. It's like the coffee, but just lighter. This is your initial wash. You can put it in a wash. So, okay. Now, I don't have time today to make well maybe at this moment to make a brush out of dog hair with you live or even grass because i think that would be cool too so i'm gonna make these things and try out some of these as like a brush okay not just like a a stick the other thing i want to show you at some point is um take a stick outside you know the charcoal we use in class that's made out of willow branches and it is um, is basically burnt, burnt wood, right? That's what charcoal is. So um, if you if you can burn, you probably burned a tip of a stick in in a fire in the backyard or drawn on the sidewalk with it. Totally works. Uh, that's another idea. And again, using the materials that you have on hand, things that are available to you that have pigment or uh, dye of some kind. Not everybody has access to this stuff. And uh, that's one thing I want us to remember too. Like we're very, most of us are very fortunate to have all this cool stuff available. I've got tons of art supplies. I'm surrounded by art supplies. Dakota, you're surrounded by art supplies all the time. So we're very blessed and fortunate. There are, are people in the world who are in learning environments in which when they're taken out of those environments, don't have art supplies, let alone food. So uh, that's a good thing to keep in mind to be thankful for today um so okay three possible painting uh options options okay also pencil the pencil now looks like this simply sharpen the end of it very carefully i'll just do a quick demo this is how i would sharpen um a pencil a charcoal pencil i would hold the pencil or stick in my left hand because I'm righty and then I would hold the uh, knife in my right hand and I would push against the back of the knife slowly okay notice I'm not moving the knife as much as I'm just pulling the tip of that pencil back okay I'm pushing that with my thumb so I can I can really get a fine tip on this Oop, and I just broke it but I can use that let's see let me focus. There we go. Okay, I can use that just like I would a pencil or a pen by dipping it in that. Oh, it broke. I broke it. But as you can see, you can really, you can really get that the way you want. 
And then if you're using pieces that have interesting ends to them, and you can get even uh, even more interesting lines. That'll be uh, quite interesting, I think. Um, totally functional. So grab some sticks, sharpen them up with a knife. Be very careful when you're using the knife not to cut yourself and never force a knife. Uh, get creative with maybe foods or dyes that you have around the house. Uh, I'm going to work on making a brush out of my dog's hair and some grass. I'm going to try it out later. I'll show you a video follow-up. What are you guys going to use? What are you using? What are you missing? Maybe it's just old junky paint or Crayola markers that you thought were never going to be good enough. Crayons. Okay? These are all things that you can use and that you should use to make your art. There's some great assignments uh, up for you. Pace yourself. Remember, uh, limit yourself to that kind of uh, time you would spend in class if you're working on art with me. I don't want you to overextend yourself. Also, um, try, to, try to make it an enjoyable process. Make it something that can uh, uh, bring you some joy after some, I don't know, not so much joy in math or something. Okay. Matt Falinski. No, Falinski is fantastic. I would never demean the sciences or maths like that because I love that stuff. So this has been Helpful Tips with Lil Lum. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow for the e-learning cooking show. Right? That's tomorrow? Yes. Even though you said Thursday. Even though I said Thursday. And then back again on... Oh my gosh, I'm getting cross-eyed. Back again on Thursday for another episode of Helpful Tips. And Friday as well with Helpful Tips. Um, again, your ideas are welcome. Friday painting Easter eggs. Friday painting Easter eggs. I'm excited. Guys, have a great day. Love you all. Go and learn. Go forth and learn the things. Yeah!